out there. <laughs> well, Gary did catch a perch. <laughs> Today we're heading to Chain of Lakes Campground, which is near Eagle River, Wisconsin. This is a private campground, and it feels similar to Tranquil Timbers, the campground we just left. Most campsites are seasonal, but they do have transient sites for folks like us scattered throughout the park. The camp store is small, but it has what you need. Drinks, some RV parts, live bait and ice cream, just not together. The thing that sets this campground apart is that it's right on the chain of lakes. It has a boat launch, you can rent boat slips, which we did, and they have free kayaks you could borrow. We came in when Eagle River was hosting the National Muskie Tournament, so it definitely was a lot of water action. We dunk our boat in yeah. Cranberry Lake. I feel like we're going in the wrong way. No, we're on the Yes. Okay. Um, as always, worried about boat depth. <laughs> in the car if we leave it that way, so we're going to go back and get it. be pirates out there. <laughs> Wait, they may be ransacking our booty. Just my booty. <laughs> uh, we've got the perfect thing to rent next time. There we go. Okay, I bet you've never seen this before. We ran across this at Eagle River. They're trying to break the world's record of a shotski. So, what is a shotski? A shotski is you put alcohol shots in a ski that's been pre drilled and you basically hold it up and you drink from it. And they're going to have, what, 1,400 people do this? Yes, because apparently the current world's record is, I think it was 1,320 in Breckenridge. We need about 20, 30 people to fill in a big old gap. Come on down. The weird things you find while going to get groceries in Wisconsin. <laughs> this is awesome.
So, yeah, yesterday we went out fishing and we thought we'd get a duck. And last night we got in there and there was no fit in our boat in next to the boat next to us. So we decided to pull ours back in. And unfortunately, we got to try to wedge the boat in between the camper on our site. We're going to go down now and see if we can A, get another dock to fit into or see if we can get our money back. So but yeah. that was one heck of a backup job again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With <laughs> help. <laughs> it was minor, a little help minor direction a little to get help. that in there <laughs> with the big truck. So. Yep. so you can see how we parked our truck this time. Little tight quarters. I think it would have worked well if we, we could have backed up fully if it wasn't for that fire pit. But, you know, I guess people like fires when they camp, huh? We head out on the water again, but we realized quickly that we forgot to fill up the boat before dropping it in the lake. Thank you. So, we ended up getting gas at a local marina. Everyone has just put it on. And we paid for it. It's like 10 gallons of $60 for 10 gallons of gas. But that's what you pay for convenience. He's got money. <laughs> At least the dock and attendants were nice. Well, Gary did catch a perch. <laughs> nice. fun but today it's a little frustrating not being able to catch anything or find anything we're seeing a lot on the radar but I guess what we have is not what they want so um, we're gonna continue to try until it gets to about dusk hopefully we'll catch something besides the tiny little perch that Gary caught I used to say that people who tried golf were crazy because they're trying to get this little tiny ball into this little tiny hole. But I'm wondering if fishing is worse because you don't even know where the hole is. Hmm. That's what I caught so far. <laughs> Reed bass, yep. On the way back, we got turned around a little bit and started going the wrong way, but thanks to the Google Maps, we were able to get back on track. A little later than planned, but still quite pretty. We got to see that deer. Yeah, if we didn't get lost, we wouldn't have seen those two deer. By the bear. <laughs> Yeah, so this is sometimes how I have to cook. There's just not enough space. So our Instapot knockoff gets to sit on the floor. So now we need to change this to... Alright. Oh, I'm running out of room again.
Okay, that's not good. Almost respectable. Actually, I think that's a decent sized perch, isn't it? There's an eagle. I caught one. Look at that. You're taking a nap. That's a good idea. Thanks again for stopping by, and please support our channel by subscribing. We hope to see you next week when we share our travels to Lake of the Falls County Park where we also take in a lumberjack show. Take care. <laughs>